All right, we we made some improvements. I want want to say improvements is interesting to use there because I don't know if it's any better or worse. But we turned our zombie deck into something else. We combined it with a new archetype, the Shira Nui's. And here is the deck list of it. So we'll go through each one. We have Glow Up Bloom, of course. You probably want to run maybe two of these, not gonna lie. Shiranui Spectral Sword, two to three. Swordmaster, maybe one. It hasn't come up too much in the... Again, I'm still kind of testing this deck out. So it hasn't come up much, so yeah. Unizombies, you probably want at least two, two to three. I only have one, unfortunately, but... You'll be fine with two to three. <laughs> Ash Blossom, yeah. You can run whatever here. Spectral Sword, Shade, two, maybe one is fine. Sprite Master, <clears throat> Spirit Master, and two, I think two is good actually. Real good. Solitaire three, I think Solitaire is probably the best one to have. Yep, and it's a good way to search your Unizombie, so yeah, three is good. Dozuki's pretty good. You probably want one to two of these. Same thing with Necro World Banshee. I think two is the perfect amount. I think I said that last time in my other zombies. Although this is a new zombie deck, so I think I still think two is good. Shiranui Squire. I think three is pretty good. And and if you banish her, you get to draw, so that's pretty good as well. Frolin, you know the deal. One, she's pretty good at one. I have two. I didn't even know I had two. Did I have two in my other one? Did I use two in the zombie one? Huh. I don't know. Doom King, one. He's perfect at one. <clears throat> Same thing with Eldritch. Again, you don't even need Eldritch if you want to just run the zombie world Shiranui, but Fool's Burial is good in this deck. It's good in any zombie deck. It's your bar It's a burial and it's zombies. Come on. <laughs> Book of Life, I still, I still run. I don't know. I think Book of Life is good. Am I wrong? No one else runs Book of Life in these types of decks. Am I wrong? Let me know. Same thing with Necronize. Although, Necronize I have seen not come up in play much. Again, I live one copy, so maybe that's why. Zombie World, I think two is the perfect number. Shiranu Style Solemnity. I think two is good, maybe one. Super Poly. Mm, one to two, you can, only, um, you can only have two max, so. Two, I think you should have at least one Super Poly in there, it's pretty good. Zombie power struggle you don't need, but I run it just in case, you know, that extra thousand attack boost could be detrimental. Detrimental. Shiranu style swallow slash. I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. And you could banish a Shiranu after, and they all have banish effects for the most part, so I think that's pretty good in this deck. I say run at least two. Return of zombies you don't need, but I run it at one. You could run it at one if you want. Shiranu style success in this deck, it's pretty... Actually, I haven't seen it much, but I think two is okay. Let me know otherwise. And in the extra deck, this is the super poly. I guess if you want to have two, you would need two of these. So it's Saga! Just one. You only need one. Archfiend Zombie Skull, you don't even need, but it, it, he's easy to bring out. Shiranu Samurai Saga! Just one is good, I think, too. Red Eye Zombie Necro at one. You don't need again. Square Suck, I think, is the best neutral synchro they have because of her effect is crazy. Squire. Why do I keep saying square? I think I say square in the actual replay, too. I'm sorry about that. Shogun Saga. Yeah. You, at least one. Chaos Ruler is pretty good. Pretty good in these type of decks. I say run them at one if you want. But again, you don't need, like, if you don't have him, and you don't need him here. Shiranu Sun Saga. I'm pretty sure they give you this card anyway, so yeah, just have it at one. It's pretty good. You don't need that, but I have it because it's okay. Vampire Sucker from the last zombie deck is still good in this one. Yeah, run it. Same thing with Vendred Sucker. Vendred. <laughs> run them at one, okay? Try to play it for your Super Poly. So maybe you could run it at one then. And then the their Ultra Rare. And then the, the one, the Yuka Oni, you don't need, but you could run if you want. Alright. <laughs> Vengeance sucker. Alright, well, enjoy the replay, I'm sorry. Okay. We're gonna do a little bit different in this one. It may make the video longer, but let me know if you like it. We're going to take our time. 
We're not going to have it on fast. We're going to slow it down a bit. Because I remember this match being interesting, to say the least. So he's doing his whole virtual world thing. And yeah, I, I mixed up my, uh, my zombie deck a little bit. I made it more of a double archetype. Instead of, you know, just trying to run pure zombies. With a little bit of any other stuff sprinkled in. Like, like a little bit of the Vendred and... Eldritch right here. But okay. I think we're gonna start off with Eldritch to get rid of Shenshin. We summon Eldritch the Golden Lord. And then summon Spectral Sword. So yeah, making it a double archetype. It's been interesting. Still testing, testing the waters. Let me know if, like, there's some key cards I'm missing, because I am still new, you know, I'm just still testing it out with the Shira Nui, you know, part. So let me know. Any help will be grateful, and he summons Shenshin back onto the field. But that's okay, because we sacrifice Spectral Sword. I, ah, uh, I got banished. That kind of sucks. We want him in the grave, but it's okay. Oh. He still had plays, of course, it's Virtual World, of course he had plays, but it doesn't matter, we pop those two cards, we throw away, um, I forgot her name, Squire, yeah, to draw a card. Well, I don't know why we Ash Blossom that, that was a mistake, because Gamma could just come right back out, but I guess we just wanted the draw. <laughs> Boom. And we had to throw away a card, I forgot about that. <laughs> As you can see, yes, I'm still very new to this deck. Okay. Bring back Shen Shen, but we should be okay with Eldritch out there. Man, what happened on this one? I... It's bugging me now. Alright, throw away his Gamma. Okay. Still think we could have saved that as Blossom, but. Yeah, that's a lot of cards out there. Ver what? Vermilion. Oh, you can't destroy me. At least not yet. I'm pretty sure this is Calamities. Yep. True King. So maybe we just stall for a bit. <laughs> oh, okay. Glow Up Bloom was good to have there. Do we... Oh. We return the car to set it. Okay, we can set that. So that's actually actually pretty important. So now, um, if he if he wanted to attack with True King onto our Eldritch, we could you know destroy him with this. But I think that's why he won't. I think that's why Jose chooses not to. Or maybe, or maybe he does. Maybe he does. Uh uh uh, zombie power stroke to gain a thousand attack, and you just destroyed yourself. Flow of blue, no. But that's okay. We wanted you to destroy him, because now we can banish him to give us Frolin. We wanted to add Frolin to our hand in case he attacked again. We could have chose Doom King, but we don't have Zombie World out there yet. And then he makes Zeus, which is interesting. How do we get over that? I think we try to find a way to make him to force it. If only we had zombie power struggle, huh? Oh, but he uses it anyway. Oh, no, he doesn't. Right, I forgot Zeus has that effect. So we had to be careful here. We don't want to give him four, because then that'd be too much. <laughs> Going into attack. Not yet, Frolin! Oh, he messed up the timing. Or, or would Frolin have been able to... Not sure, now. Frolin, get out there! Uh, uh, uh! I could have maybe put her in attack to get rid of Zeus that way, but... If anything, we could do that next turn, right? Shin, shin, this car just keeps coming back. Okay. Book of Life is interesting. Uh, give us Book of Life. Give me back my old lich. Oh, we're synchroing a level 10 and a level... Oh, it's a link. 
Vendred Slayer! And since he's banished, he gains attack! For combining Frolin and Vendred's effect! To lower his attack, for him to gain attack! And that's the most we could have done there. I could have maybe. Again, put Frolin in attack and attack Shin Shin to end it, but. As long as we win, I think it's okay. Yep, yep. Put him, puts her on defense. Okay, we got another Spectral Sword out there. Tributes to Special Summon two banished Shiranui's. And then we link away Frolin. Interesting play. Into Shiranu Square Squire Saga! Tributes herself to pop the back row and Shen Shen and go in for the finishing blow. Oh my goodness. So yeah, that was an interesting deck. Interesting back and forth, if you would say. It was pretty intense. So let me know if you like this format of going a little bit slower. Because I definitely wouldn't mind. You know, it takes me, you know, it gives me more time to collect my thoughts and what I want to say and maybe a few pointers, a few tips. But then I could go into rambling like what I am right now. And that's just not fun for anybody. So hope to see you in the next one.